Hello, and welcome to Sobriety Made Simple. My name is Timothy Martin. In today's video, I want to talk to you about something called B1 or thiamine. B1 is one of the eight essential B vitamins, and not getting enough thiamine can lead to a deficiency known as beriberi. There are two types of beriberi, wet and dry. Vitamin V is water soluble. That means it dissolves in water, and it can't be stored in your body, so you need to consume it on a regular basis. In fact, your body can only store about two weeks worth of thiamine. A B1 thiamine deficiency can cause a serious condition known as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. Okay, now what does all this have to do with us as far as alcohol consumption? Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is also known as wet brain, which some of you may have heard this expression. Wet brain results from repeated and heavy exposure to alcohol. It's caused by a thiamine B1 deficiency. Thiamine is essential for converting sugar into energy and creating chemical messengers in the brain. Alcohol consumption and binge drinking can impair the absorption of thiamine from food. And wet brain can cause brain damage, memory loss, and dementia. Here are some symptoms of wet brain. Double vision or a drooping upper eyelid. Up and down or side to side eye movements. Loss of muscle coordination. A confused mental state which can lead to combativeness or violent behavior. Amnesia. Difficulty understanding the meaning of information. Difficulty putting words into context. Exaggerated storytelling or what's known as confabulation. Also a lack of B1 can show up as fatigue. Because thiamine converts food into energy, not having enough thiamine in the body means you cannot produce as much energy as the body needs. Irritability can also be the cause of a thiamine deficiency. Changes in mood. Now, because we drink alcohol and abuse it, a lot of us could be affected by this. Start eating a diet rich in thiamine, foods that help maintain adequate thiamine stores in your body. Some good sources of dietary thiamine include white rice, black beans, whole wheat bread, nuts, pork chops, plain yogurt, sunflower seeds, and lentils. And there's plenty more food out there. Those are just a few. Please try a multivitamin or a vitamin B complex with thiamine. Make sure that you check the label now. I personally had to get a separate B complex because a multivitamin I took only had B6 and B12. It didn't have B1 or thiamine in it. Make sure you check that label. Just because you're taking a multivitamin doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting the thiamine that you need, okay? Now, this is just a very quick explanation. I'm going to make another video on Wernicke-Korsakoff or wet brain syndrome. I'll get you a better, more in-depth explanation. just want to put this video out there to educate you on thiamine and B1, okay? Please start taking some if you're a heavy drinker like I was. You probably do have a B1 deficiency, okay? Okay, try to take better care of yourself. Even if you're actively drinking right now, that doesn't mean that you can't do at least a couple things to help yourself until you're ready to stop. Get some B1 and get some thiamine. Try to take care of this thiamine deficiency because if left unchecked, the damage is irreversible and permanent. All right? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care.